today I'm going to show you how you can combine multiple LoRa's with a simple node and obtain results like this one. So let's first begin with the installation part. Before we can proceed, you need to have the ConfiUI manager installed in your ConfiUI folder. For those of you who don't have ConfiUI, you can check my previous video. So click in manager, then go to install custom notes and type in efficient. And here you can find efficiency notes for ConfiUI version. Just click install. Once it's installed, just restart your Comfy UI and we are good to go. Also, don't forget to put your Comfy UI Lora's model into the right folder. Go to the Comfy UI folder in model, just go in Lora's and paste all your Lora's model here. Once it's done, restart your Comfy UI and we can proceed from now. Once you open up your ConfiUI interface, you will find the default nodes here. Just select everything by clicking Shift and using the mouse. Delete every node. And now double click and add LoRa Stacker. This node here is going to help us to combine multiple LoRa's. With the simple notes, I'm gonna change the lower account into two since I'm gonna use two Loras model. I'm gonna use the Cyberpunk style and a Viking style. If you don't know where to find all these Loras model, you can go to civitai.com. There is a ton of free model that you can download and use them. Okay. Next, we're going to add an efficient loader and plug the LoRa stack into the efficient loader. Here, make sure that you have selected your checkpoint file. And I'm going to also change the VAE name. I found that my VAE give me a better result. If you want to use the same VAE, you can check my description box below. Here you can change the resolution. For now, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Then double click and add a key sampler, but choose the efficient version. Now we're gonna plug the model into model, the positive round into the positive, and the negative into the negative. And also plug the VIE and latent image resolution. And from here, just add a safe image now in the key sampler i'm gonna change the cfg scale to five and the steps i'm gonna increase it to 13 and leave the rest as it is you have to put in your mind that all those parameters are gonna depend on your lola's model Every LoRa's has its unique parameters. I'm gonna also change the resolution. And here we can type in our positive prompt and our negative prompt. I'm gonna start with the negative prompt. Bad is bad. Hands, six fingers, and bad topology. For the positive prompt, I'm gonna add master is eight K high resolution. One man, fight position. I'm gonna also add realistic face. Okay, now we can click Q prompt. 
is some pro negative pessimist. Now I can click to prompt and it's gonna start generating the image. Here we have a mix between a Viking and cyberpunk Laura style. I'm gonna also edit my positive prompt and add cyber bug city background. Let's see how, how it is. Let's see the results now. Here you can see that we obtained a different result from the previous one. And to change the results of the final image, you can play with the lower weights. For example, if I want my cyberpunk style more than my Viking style, I can play with those lower weight value. Or I can also change the CFG scale. Let's reduce the CFG scale to to two. Let's see what we got. Here you can see that we have different results again. Now let's increase the CFG scale to eight. And here we have a complete different results. So you can play with the CFG scale and obtain a different results between the two Lola's model. Once you are satisfied with your image, you can upscale it using Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 or you can use the upscale version of the Comfy UI. So that's it for today's tutorial. It was a quick one on how to combine multiple Lola's to obtain a different style. So if you like this video, please let me know in the comment below and push the like button for me. Thank you.